Hi, welcome to my tummy whispers. Today we are going to make spicy and delicate minced lamb curry puffs. The pastry is very light and delicate and melts in the mouth. And the minced lamb curry filling is delicious. Has got a subtle spiciness and has a beautiful bite in the curry puff. Try it and you like it too. Take a large potato, peel the skin and dice it into small pieces. And take a large onion and dice it too. I heated up a saucepan with two tablespoons of oil and added a cinnamon bark to it. I also added five cloves but I don't like the bite of it. So I pounded it coarsely and added to the oil and sauteed it. Next I added the diced onions into the oil and give it a good mix. Cook under medium heat and cook till the onions turn translucent. To the onion mixture, I added 1 tablespoon of the ginger paste and 1 tablespoon of the garlic paste. Usually, I buy ginger and garlic in a bulk and I grind them separately and I freeze them. It makes my daily cooking a breeze. I added a few sprigs of curry leaves from the garden and gave it a good mix into the onion mixture. Once the ginger garlic and onions are well infused into the oil, it approximately takes about 2 to 3 minutes. You can add the 500 grams of minced lamb into the onion mixture. Give it a good mix for a minute or two and finally you can add the diced potatoes and add some seasoning and later you can taste it and then finally we can adjust the seasoning accordingly. We add about 1 teaspoon of turmeric powder 2 heap teaspoons of chilli powder Add 2 tablespoons of Baba's Chicken Curry Masala And give it a good stir and make sure all the masalas are well mixed into the meat and the potato mixture. After the masalas are well mixed, cover the lid of the pan and let it cook in its own juices under medium heat for about 3 minutes. After 3 minutes, open the lid and check the consistency of the potatoes and the meat. Add quarter cup of thick coconut milk and give it a good mix. And I added about a tablespoon of water into the cup 
and I washed it and added to the mixture and give it a good mix and cover the lid and cook the mixture turns crumbly it should take approximately about four to five minutes under medium high heat Open the lid after 3 minutes and give it a good mix and you should find the lamb curry filling is much more crumblier than earlier. Once it is turned very dry, you can remove it from the heat and scoop it into a bowl and remove the cinnamon stick and discard it. The yummy mince curry filling is ready now. You may wish to eat it with a bowl of white rice. But today's session, we are going to add it to the curry puffs as a filling. Or you can even eat it with some rotis or slices of bread. In a large bowl, I added one and a half cups of all-purpose flour or plain flour to that I added half teaspoon of salt and three-quarter cup of hot vegetable oil you can see the hot oil sizzling in the bowl Give it a good mix till all the ingredients are well combined. Next, we add water gradually to form a stiff dough. Do not add too much of water. Otherwise, you have to add flour in the end to get the correct consistency. Once the flour mixture is well combined and it forms into a stiff dough, remove from the bowl and place the dough onto a silicone mat. With light strokes, knead it lightly and roll it with a rolling pin. With gentle strokes, roll it to about 3 mm thickness and cut into circle shapes and add the curry filling and we form the shapes you will notice that i am rolling the dough onto a silicone mat i do not need any excess flour to roll out the dough the dough was of correct consistency and it was a breeze rolling out the pastry and cutting out the final product of this pastry once it is fried is very flaky and it really melts in the mouth cut out some circles on the pastry and leave it aside
I have made this minced lamb curry puffs quite a number of times. It usually becomes a hot item among the guests. So do give it a try and I'm quite sure you will like it too.